Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys are doing great. I know things have been a little bit crazy here in Trinidad, but it seems to have, you know, quiet down just a bit. Today's video is my monthly favorites video and honestly I was not prepared for this. I'm being 100% transparent with you all. I was not ready for this monthly favorites because I feel like June just kind of skipped by. I really didn't realize we were like three days into July but June has also been really taxing on me and I know a lot of you guys have messaged me and said you're experiencing the same thing like some of y'all are having panic attacks you're really just freaking out and I know a lot of people don't believe in like this mumbo jumbo but Mercury is in retrograde like it started mid-June I can't remember the date as to it ending so just try to step back a second and take some time for yourself and you know if meditating helps you do that you can also read books just anything to help you relax and that's more important now more than ever because of everything 2020 has been throwing at us so please just take care of your mental health in the way that suits you best and before i keep rambling on let's just dive into today's video So I do have 10 items in front of me right now and I warn you, only two of them are makeup products. Everything else is like skincare because like I said before, June was just not my month for makeup at all. But when I did sit down to film and I had to apply makeup, this is the first thing I reached for. This is the AOA Popo Wonder Blender and I know I'm like late to this game because so many of you like especially since I want to say late 2018 to early 2019 have been messaging me so much to try this sponge because you all swear by them. I said before I'm a creature of habit and I love my Real Techniques sponge like I've never owned a beauty blender. There are just some things in makeup that I really don't see the need to spend a lot of money on when they're like so much even i want to say better dupes out there and this is one of them i believe in like beauty blenders to me are so overrated i mean this is no shade at all to people who love beauty blenders like i'm sure they do a wonderful job my whole point is that you can get more affordable sponges out there like i genuinely believe if you're spending more than six us on a blending sponge you're doing the most <laughs> So this I was so ecstatic to buy because it's a six pack for only 100 TT dollars. Yes, I purchased this locally. I will leave her Instagram link below. She's called Talking Faces and she's really nice, really helpful. And this has changed my life. I know it's a six pack, but I have two out here that I have been using consistently throughout the month of like May to June. And what I do, I use the bottom to apply foundation and either side for concealer and setting powder and honestly they're so soft and bouncy and they don't soak up a lot of product especially when you wet them and also when you wet them they get so big they're like probably the size of my palm when you wet them i think i have a photo i'll insert it somewhere where i show how they look wet and dry and i made sure before i sat down to film this video that i ordered another pack of these because i don't trust you i saw the comments under my wonderful world haul and you y'all honestly i think you're gonna loot wonderful will looking for some of those products so i made sure that i was not going to be left in the rain with this product i definitely stuck up before the first makeup product in this lineup is gonna come as no surprise to a lot of you because i have been raving about it so much and it's the luna beauty moon prism blush palette i mean this has certainly changed the blush game for me like i thought i loved fenty's cream blood blah, cream blood what is wrong with me cream blushes and i do but honestly this one this beat back those friend friends what is lord 
this beat bag those fancy cream blushes the variety that you get in here is so exceptional like it caters for a lot of skin tones which we can all appreciate like you have your light skin tones medium skin tones and i have actually been dabbling in the deep skin tones i'm actually wearing this shade here which is like a kind of plummy terracotta shade on my cheeks right now as well as this shade here called soleil it has this beautiful glow i love this like honestly if i could choose one shade out of this entire six pan palette it would be soleil it gives me such a beautiful ethereal glow like it has a pinky orange shifted but definitely that gold highlight comes through and it's not a highlight it's a shimmery blush but this literally has no fine glitter in it at all and i love that this is honestly one of the best formulas of a shimmery blush i have ever used and i hope 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 that he does come out with singles because i will literally buy 10 of these i use this all over my face today and that is what is giving me this glow just everywhere and honestly like the glow this gives me this is giving me such beach vibe pool vibe like i love this look it's just so fresh and he nailed it with this formula i love this palette next up i have the tatcha dewy skin cream and honestly i have not used this for the entire month of june it's literally been about two weeks just maybe a little over two weeks that i've been using this product that is how much i love it i had to include it in here because i actually used it today under my makeup as well and i don't know if it's this new foundation that i'm trying or if it's this under my makeup that just made everything look so seamless and everything just went on so much better but i love this and how i've been using this mainly is at night this really does leave my skin dewy but extremely hydrated and not greasy that is the most important thing for me because i really despise like a greasy heavy feeling cream even if it's at night and this just somehow sinks into my skin and my skin looks so plumped and revived i know it's super expensive but it's totally totally worth it and the mere fact that i see now i can use it under foundation is like a double win for me and i truly find this to be extremely soothing especially when i remove makeup like after a long day this really does help to just balance out my skin and just make my skin feel so much better and i really recommend this if you're looking for an extremely hydrating cream especially if you have like a normal to combo skin this is such a good moisturizer for that and also i mean it's toucher so they do have a lot of anti-aging properties in there so that's also an added bonus I've also really been enjoying the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I must say, when I did my review on Instagram, I was kind of on the fence about it. Like, do I like this more than the original formula? And I, I think I do. Like, just a little bit more. I think one, because of it's just more convenient with, you know, the pump and you can actually with this pump i love how you can control the amount that you get you know some products you have a pump and you can't really control if you get half of a pump you just get like one big dollop in your hand i don't like that this pump is so controllable like i can just take the tiniest bit to just fill in any like rough areas on my face which i really don't have a lot of but generally around here is where i tend to have like my pores more visible and this just eliminates that like it really does leave like a veil canvas on my face i don't know how to describe this but what i love about this more than the original formula is that it doesn't leave like any weird white cast under my face and i really didn't have that issue too much or i should say i didn't make an issue of it with the original formula because when i use that primer i'm going in with foundation after so it really didn't affect if there was a white cast on my face because it's covered up with foundation right but because this formula does not leave that white cast i'm actually comfortable enough to use this on my no makeup days but i still want here to look visibly smoother i really recommend if you are looking for a high-end primer to really just smooth out your face so that your makeup just applies flawlessly try this primer 
this next product um, I don't want to say I wanted it to fail but because it's so expensive I kind of wanted to not like it but I couldn't help it it's actually what I am wearing on my eyes right now this is the Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara I know I love my affordable mascaras and especially my Colourpop BFF mascara and honestly that Colourpop mascara is a really good dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara but they both have the same issue which is that they fleek and this mascara does not do that like I am wearing no falsies today and this is especially why I love this mascara because it makes my lashes look like they're on steroids like I don't know if you can see it properly but I mean my lashes look really full and just volumized you can actually see them which is like a huge deal for me but apart from how this wand just makes my lashes just really cool up yes I do use an eyelash cooler but I have used eyelash coolers in the past with other crappy formulas and my eyelashes just go all the way back down this formula does not do that and I especially love how long wearing it is even sometimes like my eyelids can get greasy because i do have oily eyelids this still does not transfer that is like so fire to me and i would really recommend if you are looking for a mascara to really hold your cool and just give you a lot of volume this is the one this is also another product that i have been using for like two weeks now and i can't stop i can't put it down but i need to because i'm not trying to empty this can right now because to reorder things online right now and get it into trinidad with customs and their excessive prices ugh, i need to chill on this spray this is the tarte maracuja miracle mist satin spray so it's very morphe vibes it has like that classic aerosol spray i would have shown this on my I would have shown this on my Sephora haul video. I know my face is very glowy right now and that has a lot to do with that blush palette I used but this has been helping like my dry spot right here. I find like lately, I don't know if it's because my skin is changing or if it's just the weather my skin is reacting to with you know the Sahara dust over us but especially just right here under my eyes have been extremely dry after powdering and some of my setting sprays have not been cutting it enough to really just melt the powder under my eyes except for this this is pure fire if you want your makeup to look like skin it really does melt my makeup like no other satin spray in my collection and i know it has a lot to do with not just the formula but the mist on this it's so fine and it's you know obviously a continuous setting spray if you are struggling to find a decent priced setting spray that really leaves you with a natural radiant finish while setting your makeup you need to try this i promise you you will not regret it this next product is so random but trust me if you've tried it before or if you're thinking about trying it let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on it this is himalayan pink salt this is just what brand is this herbal joy limited um it's no particular brand but the product itself is what i am excited about i suffer with dry scalp and it has been a struggle of mine for years and years like i'm talking about since high school through university now in my adult life it has been such a bother to me and there was nothing really i could do about it until i went to my dermatologist and spent a shit ton of money to recommend neutrogena tea gel shampoo i was just like really fine but that also it did work but it only works for a little while and then like i don't know if my scalp got used to it it just gave up and it came back so i was looking online for home remedies to just really relieve this dry itchy scalp that i have because it is not cute when you put on your cute makeup, your nice little outfit and you're ready to go and you brush your hair and just, just flakes all over your clothes just all throughout my hair it is not fun, it is not a cute look and I've actually had to delete like two videos already because of how bad my dry scalp was and because I film in HD it's 
very much amplified that I have dry scalp so I could not for the life of me upload those videos and honestly that was my breaking point you know I said I can't be spending so much hours into creating content and then having to delete it because of my dry scalp you know so I started looking up online for home remedies that can really just help me get rid of this once and for all and literally my search page was covered with Himalayan salt use Himalayan salt put it in your shampoo and I said you know what I have nothing to lose I can just try this and see what happens and I am so glad that I did because it literally changed my life I have been using this like almost to the end of May and throughout June and I've been using it once a week with my shampoo I have like a whole hair care video coming up soon because I really wanted to share with you all my dry scalp journey but if you do suffer with dry scalp and you are at your wits end just like I was just put a couple tablespoons of this into your shampoo I promise you it will change your life it is recommended that you put two to three tablespoons of this pink salt into your shampoo bottle you shake it up and then you use it like regular but I have been using it like a scalp scrub and then I go in with my shampoo and it really has helped like I don't know if you can see it properly in this video but I have no flakes and not only that like I feel like my hair has been extremely shiny since like it just feels much more healthy like my scalp feels amazing and my hair tends to get greasy like really quick I'm talking about I'll shampoo my hair on Monday and by Wednesday my hair is already greasy but since I've started using this in my hair care it has just not been greasy at all like i'll probably be on my sixth day of my last hair wash and it still looks so fresh and clean and honestly it's like i feel like my hair is the best it's ever been up next i have a coconut lip gloss and this is by the brand kopari this honestly feels like a lip oil it's so conditioning and nourishing like my lips have just been drinking this up it loves it and it's one of those products that you literally can't stop applying like it's so addictive i really like this it reminds me a lot of the jouer hydrating lip oil and this is actually cheaper than that so i of course will be getting more of these in the future but what i love about this is that it doesn't leave your lips like greasy or you know oily it really does sink into your lips and it just gives me the juiciest pout ever but i have been using this like a regular lip balm like on mornings when i do my morning skincare i would go in with this and it would last for hours like hours on end and my lips still feel hydrated i am completely obsessed with this little lip gloss next up i have the tatcha kisu lip mask and you all know i love lip mask and this is no exception this is like a jelly type formula it's really comfortable on the lips and let me tell you the tiniest tiniest like i'm talking probably like the tip of my nail you just need that amount to cover your entire lips overnight and i'm talking about in the morning when you wake up it's literally smooth out my lips because i have a lot of fine lines on my lips and when i use this i really see a reduction in those lines like it just makes my lips look fuller and they just feel healthier and so moisturized i really like this and it does have like a light fruity fragrance it's not overpowering at all like when you apply it you don't smell it it's only like in the container you would really smell it but i know this is gonna last me like a really long time because like i said you just need a tiny bit of product and you do get a good amount of products in here i am down to my final product and this is the yoglo enzyme scrub from wishful this is huda beauty's skincare brand and i was skeptical about this in the beginning i really thought it would have been a gimmick but it's not thank god but i really do see a huge difference in my skin when i use this product it does contain pineapple and papaya enzymes as well as ahas and bhas so it's extremely exfoliating but in a gentle way and that is what i was scared about with this product because i know huda kind of goes like extreme when it comes to her skin so i was kind of scared she would have projected that 
same thing into her skincare line but it really is a gentle exfoliator the best way i can describe this is that it just makes your skin feel cleaner on a deeper level so it's like you can really feel your pores being extremely cleaned out and it just leaves my skin so much brighter and smoother you can see instant results with this product i really recommend if you are looking for a exfoliating product that can really help brighten and even out your skin tone give this a try i bought the mini to try and it's totally worth it and that pretty much sums up my monthly favorites video i hope you guys had fun and if you see any of these products here that you're thinking about trying or that you love as well please let me know in the comments below and don't forget if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like and share this video i would really appreciate it and also please follow my other socials so that we can stay connected and i'll see you guys in the next one bye